Hi, I'm Nolan Bushnell. You're watching CoinOp TV. I think part of a good game design is you, you create conflicting goals for the player. So if you're just like everything you see, you just kill, I mean, you get kind of monotonous. Video games are a small sector of a 60-year career in electronics, but it turned out to be an important one because I did come up with a concept of playing games on a home television set in 1966. Back when it was Atari versus Intellivision, I was one of the programmers at Mattel Electronics on the Intellivision video games. Started there back in 1981, worked there as long as Mattel was doing it. There was the crash of 83. Intellivision kept going. What are your thoughts on the current gaming industry? Well, I think that um, it has, in general, sort of ossified. There's not a lot of innovation. No one scored yet, but the potential is there. Some hard shots from yeah, yeah, right. some hard shots from Justine. She gets the first point. And of all the billions of times that Donkey Kong has been played, I am one of two people, Billy Mitchell being the other, who has played it completely to the end. The King of Kong, do you have any uh, reactions to the film you'd like to chat about on camera? Well, I have very, very positive interactions with people because of it. I have ones that will humor you uh, to no end. Uh, I have some interactions that you could actually make a movie about. But uh, for the most part, everything in the industry is fun. It really is. And for the most part, most everybody in the industry is fun. We ran into our good friend Tommy Tellerico. Where? Where is he? Oh, I'm here. How you there doing? There you are. You've been kind of turned into an icon. You know, you go to art shows and there's photos and paintings of you. You fly around really? to events. Yeah, I'm telling you, I go to places and I see your pictures at places. How does that feel? It feels good to know there's people out here that relate to me and do my struggles, I guess. Um, so I enjoy meeting the fans at all the events, so I just appreciate all the support. What's your favorite part about your job and what you do? Well, I get to be interviewed by extremely, extremely attractive women, and so I'm kind of really enjoying that today. My favorite arcade game happens to be Qbert. No way! you got to be kidding me! Yeah. That is my favorite arcade game! Are you serious? I am serious. That is why I just bought this. Whoa! What's your favorite video game? Ever? Yeah. Missed. Sean, we haven't seen you in a video game. If you had to pick a video game to be in as your character or yourself, which would it be and why? What's the game where the guy's like always jumping over like a little pitfall? Pitfall? I'll be pitfall guy. <laughs> Spy Hunter, can you give us some uh, tips at all of, uh, you know, some little tricks maybe? Well, you know, it's, it's mostly a common sense game. If people get too excited with that gas pedal and they, they, they push it all the way down and they're just going to they're just going to crash. You're going to go out of control. So just be moderate on the gas pedal and, and try not to die. Uh, you're running around here on roller skates. Anything you can tell us about that? Yeah, well, in my spare time, I do roller derby uh, up in the Portland area with the Rose City Rollers. I never intended for this to happen, but basically I've become the historian for all the, the Atari history. Uh, tell me about these games here. I know that there had some Disney animators involved, things like that. Uh, yes, uh, Don Bluth and Gary Goldman. Um, they were... Um, former Disney uh, animators. They left uh, Disney to start their own company. I thought a natural choice if, if you're going to do a funeral, Dig Dug's halfway there already. I mean, he spends his life under the ground. Nobody's good at every game, but you, what ends up happening is you have to learn how to play a variety, variety of games and uh, try and do um, at least above average on, on a game to be able to be competitive on, like in numbers. If you can have a game that's simple to understand but difficult to master, that's, in my opinion, the most fun and the most rewarding. Basically, the game is, has a pattern to it. And that's how most people learn to play. You do the same thing on a particular board, the monsters do the same thing. But that doesn't get you the absolute highest score you can get. So you have to learn how to control the monsters. Tell us some more about Vegas Battle. Vegas Battle is a very, very rare Data East game. It's, it's a compilation of five games in one where you have Space Invaders, a Laser Warp, and a Flagship, just to name a few. And it's pretty much a game observation of how the game reacts and how you're playing. I'm going to offer the following tips. I'm not going to give away my deepest, darkest secrets, but uh, here you go. Uh, TIE Fighter scene, secret number one, watch the star patterns. If you really learn the game well, you could predict where the TIE Fighter is going to come out, even though it's off the screen. How long do you think you're actually going to be playing video games during this convention? During this convention? I, I mean, it goes till midnight, and there's all oh, these yeah. crazy uh, seminars going on. There's tons of people in there, tons of games. I mean, how long do you think you could honestly stay in there with a the video game? It goes by fast, all day.